Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints. A beautiful Friday morning. Sun is out. Sky is blue. And the birds are singing. It just doesn't get a whole lot nicer than this. So, quick Friday morning walk down to the river. And uh, hope to encourage you. Hope to challenge you. Hope to leave you something good to hang on to for today. Maybe, maybe for the rest of your life. Because you see, it's not really coming from me. I, uh, I'm just bringing you the message from God. And of course, He is eternal. And His message is eternal. And so, uh, hoping it's a little bit more than just a, you know, something for today. Anyways, the irony of some things, eh? It's, uh, I was reading today, you know, seeing what the Lord's got for you, and uh, reading this passage that just really kind of made me think. I mean, it's something I've seen so many times, but... Uh, the irony behind it all. A lot of things in life have irony. But this one was really unique because in order to find rest, you need to be able and willing to work. Um, I kinda, it kind of struck me as uh, like, what in the world's that all about? But you know, it's true. The Lord talks about us being yoked with Him. And uh, as we do, we find rest for our souls. I think what's happening is that, uh, and I'm no psychologist or psychiatrist or whatever. These ducks are obviously used to being fed. I am not doing that, but uh, they're used to being fed. The... Uh, Finding rest for your soul. Back to the subject at hand here. Instead of being distracted by these beautiful little birds. The um, scripture says, Jesus says actually, I mean it's straight, you know, red letter Bible here. It's Jesus. He says, that in order to find rest for our souls, we have to stop striving on our own because when we do it on our own, we're really not going to find rest. We're not going to achieve what we're looking for. But when we come to Him, He will give us rest. And the, the ironic thing is, in order to come to Him, He says, take my yoke upon you. Now, if you know anything about a yoke, if you've seen pictures or maybe in a movie, or maybe you've got some farm experience, if you look at the idea of being in a yoke, take my yoke, yoke upon you. There's two things about the yoke. Number one, you are strapped in. It's not just something that's laid on your shoulder. It is you are strapped in. There's a commitment there. And so if you are you know, kind of casual about this Christian decision thing, it's not going to be restful. You need to be committed. You need to be sold out in order to really know the benefits of being in Christ. And so, one thing about the yoke, you need to be strapped in. Talks about commitment. Talks about being there for the long haul. The other thing is to recognize that the yoke is a binding or a commitment of work. You see, you don't put the yoke on the oxen when you're just going for a walk or when you're out in the meadows eating. It's about work. And so I also want to remind you and call you and offer to you the reality or the challenge that if you are 
wanting to find rest in Christ and, and finding all that he has for you. What you're going to need to do is, number one, be committed, and number two, be working. You see, this Christian thing does not find satisfaction just in just being there, all right? There isn't that satisfaction in just maybe just going to church, unless you're you're going to church and working. And there are a lot of people that do, and we appreciate every single one of them. There's a lot of people that put in hundreds of hours into the whole church thing every year. And uh, so, you know what? They are committed and they're working, and that's great. But your place of work might not be in the church building, especially now. Um, it might be in community. It might be in neighborhood. It might be in, uh, you know, online. It might be on the phone. It might be who knows where uh, in some kitchen somewhere. You know what? That's what we're called to do. We are called to be committed and to work. Let me read this to you. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you offer us rest. Now, it comes at a price, but it's worth it. Man, some things are worth paying for. And this is one of them. So thank you, Lord. Thank you for the challenge. Thank you for the call. And thank you for the invitation to find rest from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a restful day as you commit yourself and work for the Lord. Amen.